Welcome back to The Secret Life of Parkinson's. I'm Jessica Krauser, and I have Brian Baker with me as always. As always. Brian, we get to talk about you today. Again. Yes. How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling well. No, so. you're not. Yeah, I am. I'm doing pretty well. You're I'm, itchy, you're tired. Yeah, you're... I mean, I've got Parkinson's. Yeah, so right. I, that I was, happens. So a little over a week ago, had uh, the final surgery, had the battery installed in my chest for dbs and for dbs and had the wire ran down my scalp and down my neck and through my shoulder and into the sounds chair. pleasant it, it really wasn't that bad I, you know i was this whole process steve and i were talking before the shoot today and the whole process hasn't been painful mm -hmm. um that's the one thing it's it's none of it's been like I, this was a little more sore you know a little more uh, you know, irritation, but yeah. nothing the nothing has been painful about this whole process. So let's take a step back and talk about you know your journey because you're on a deep brain stimulation surgery. journey journey DBS, um, and this started when I can't remember June July July twenty third or June twenty third. Yes, June, July, August. Yes, okay. June, the end so, of June. So June, you started with one surgery that was on the one side of your yes, head that they right put there. the leads in. Yeah. You can see the bald spot. I can't That's... see. Is it back there? <laughs> and then in the following month, you had the other side done. Correct. In July, they did this side. We okay. can still see a little see bit of the scar. Is, yeah. that the, is that a bump or is it like the, 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 the I wires? Think, I think it's a wire. Okay. So. And then just a couple weeks ago... So then just they last the, week, just last week they they took the they took the wires from the top of my head where they're at here. Yeah. They ran them down the back of my scalp, mm -hmm. and I've got stitches up up top. Mm -hmm. I've got stitches on the side. And then the wire now comes down here. Mm -hmm. You can feel it sometimes, and then mm -hmm. it turns right to the battery here. Are we allowed to show it, or is it gross? It's, I mean, it's a scar. It's, yes. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah. Okay, that's not that's not that bad. No, it's not like uh, protruding out of my skin or anything. Yeah, like that, but that's that's. that's how long? How will the scar heal? Did they say? Like, I, it looks like I got knifed by a. No, they didn't. I mean, they, they. I didn't. I didn't ask about that. So I mean, all the other scars are have healed pretty well. So okay. I'm assuming that it'll be the same. So what's the next step? So I go. Um, so I go here in a couple of days and get the stitches removed mm -hmm. um, here in Columbus. And then I go back up to Cleveland on uh, the following Monday, so about a week and a half, on August 23rd, and get everything turned on. Are you anxious? I'm, I'm excited um, just to see how it all um, works out and what all what it all feels like. Is this yeah. process what, it, what you thought it would be? Yeah, and that's and it, it's keep you know I have to keep reminding myself it's a process because you just like I said it started in June and you, know, you went into July and now we're in August and you know people are like what did you do this summer like brain yeah. surgery <laughs> you know um, so it's it's been a process it doesn't happen overnight um, you know I had it was great I had those couple weeks where I had the, the Ross called it the honeymoon stage and mm -hmm. that's where, they, where you don't have any symptoms and I was like oh this is what it felt like to be normal you know mm -hmm. quote unquote normal again you know where yeah. you don't have any symptoms you feel great i was like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna and then it all came crashing down and the symptoms mm -hmm. were kicked back in um with the you know with the chest implant or the battery implant and stuff like that it's been my symptoms have been a little bit worse the past couple of weeks or so because you know i think dr patel when he's here talking about whenever you have trauma to the to your body yeah. mentally or physically you know, your symptoms get worse, and I think that's been the case here for the past mm -hmm. week or so. Okay. So it's nothing to be I don't nervous think it's in, No. Yeah. I'm not nervous. But, like, how, like, overall, like, I know you said, like, your head, like, your scalp is itchy from, like, the stitches or, like, things are somewhat irritating. Just, like, what are some of, the, like, those, like, we, I feel like we talk great, great about it, which is awesome, but I think sometimes people want to hear, like, what are some of the annoying Oh, I mean, like the, I mean, the having the wire ran down, you know, down here, um, that was very, I don't want to say painful, but it was, 
it's irritating still to, to you know it's done a little over a week ago and it's still irritating you know for the first few days you can't turn you your know head. it's there no you can feel it and, it and it kind of feels like it's cutting into your skin are you supposed to feel it i, I did I you guess. ever do you ask any do you no, ask questions no i just let let it happen oh my god <laughs> seriously <laughs> no it feels i mean it feels fine like the first couple of days i couldn't turn my head that way i got i was driving i, I did um, it but so no, it's, it's loosened back up. You know, getting range of motion is get is better. Um, but it, it's it was sore. Like I said, mm-hmm. it, none none of it's been painful. Like where I had to be on pain pills or I you know Tylenol or anything like that consistently. Um, it's just been you know, like I said, it's it's sore. Okay. So, but you're still glad that you're going through. Yeah, I'm this. so I'm I'm super excited about you know getting everything turned on. Hopefully, it all works out well. You're gonna be a new man. I, I know, as long as I stay away from those electric fences. Stop it! Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I never I didn't tell anybody about that, but I I literally thought I was gonna hurt you. <laughs> so, just to let everybody else know, Derek and I invited Brian over to dinner. And I just got a, a new puppy, so we had the electric fence, and I was telling him about it before. And we have another dog, too, so the fence is already out there. And he walks up to the front door, and he, what did you say? I was like, did you have to have your electric fence turned on? I said, it shocked the shit out of me. You're so like, hey. I mean, I, I, I was like, oh, oh, my gosh, are you serious? And he's dying laughing at the front door. And I'm like, because I didn't know. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense that that would happen, but it's, oh, my God, I almost... Yeah, it's funny. You get people like turn to click in the remote to the garage, like, ee, ee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or somebody turn on the light switch and stuff like that. So yeah, you have some fun with it. So I guess so. Gabe is excited to get the remote. He's like, I can't wait to get that remote in my hand. The twenty third. So he's excited. <laughs> is to, he there? Are they going to teach him like what to? Yeah, he's going to go. Like? He's going to go up with me. They're going to they'll, they'll program it. He'll be he'll learn how to turn it on and off just to have okay. somebody else to knows what's going on so that's good yeah, he's excited he's like i can't wait and <laughs> so so has he learned a lot more about it does he feel comfortable with everything i like, think i think so i mean he he didn't ask any questions so i'm assuming it's... you still oh my gosh brian <laughs> baker open the door and ask the question we we are two adult men and we get along <laughs> everything's just fine <laughs> Okay. Well, Gabe, if you have any questions and you listen to this, you can give me a call. Gabe is just fine. I know. He's, he's awesome. But is he, like, he'll be the one that can also help control it if anything yeah. happens, right? Yeah, he'll, he'll, he's excited about learning. Okay. He is excited about learning it and yeah. seeing the programming. Awesome. Like you said, that's, that's going to be a long day. It's like a four-hour programming session. Wow. So. And that's like one of many, right? Um, the first one's four hours, and after that, I think they're like an hour. So I have the August and September programming, then I'll probably uh, transfer hopefully down to Columbus where I don't have to make the drive to Cleveland. Okay. So it's excited. It's, uh, it's exciting. I'm excited to see what happens when I turn it on, see the difference. Um, I'm going to try and get some video of the programming so we can kind of see if there's any, uh, any shocking going on. Or... Awesome. Well, good. All right. Anything else to share? I have nothing to share. And I have no last 30 seconds for you. You don't like my last 30 seconds. No, it's great. And 30 um, seconds are the best part of the... The best part is when it's not 30 seconds yeah, and I just say it is. Or 55. 55. Just depends. Um, okay, so in our last 30 <laughs> seconds, I can't not say it, but in our last 30 seconds, I'll just leave everybody with this. Brian, we are so happy to see the progress that you're making and... Again, anybody who's interested in DBS, the deep brain stimulation, please make sure you do your research. You consult with your physician and, you know, ask your community, ask those around you of people who've had, um, who've had it done before and try and learn from them before you go out and have brain surgery. But very glad to have you on again and looking forward to when you get turned on and we'll bring you, well, obviously you're here, but we'll make it a special episode just for Brian. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks.